A couple days ago, one of my followers, JK18, published a video titled Dangerous Party Bulb on his YouTube page. He had this uh, party bulb that had a rotating prism on top, and he found out if he rotated the prism manually, it would generate a considerable amount of voltage which would be present on the bulb's screw base contacts. Anyway, I remember I happened to have this turntable motor out of a microwave oven that I took apart, and it's rated at 120 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 2.5 RPMs, I think that's at 50 hertz, 3 RPMs at 60 hertz. Interesting note is that Southern California Edison, this October of this year will have marked the 70 years since Southern California Edison transitioned from 50 hertz to 60 hertz on their grid. I'll do another video on that later. Anyway, I found out if you take a crescent wrench and manually rotate the shaft on the turntable motor, it'll actually generate a couple hundred volts, but very little current. It will light up a set of uh, LED Christmas lights, I know for sure. So, um, let's try it out. You don't have to turn it very fast to get it to light the entire string at what I'd say is full brightness at a hundred and if it were plugged into the wall. Now there's a couple other items I've also found it will power. So let me unplug that and set, set it aside. I tried a couple different LED bulbs that I have and uh, this one that I got from Lowe's made by Osram. I still have the packaging for it. Let's see, uh, Osram 8.5 watt LED A19, 27, 27 Kelvin color temperature. This uh, particular LED bulb that Osram makes uh, has ran on every bit of dirty power I could feed it, including a square wave supply. And I found it will also light up on that. Not, not at full brightness, but I guess it would be good enough for good enough for uh, emergency lighting. You do, however, have to spin this uh, motor faster than. You do, however, have to spin this motor faster than. On the Christmas lights to get it to light up. And uh, since my phone is dying, I'll do one more thing for you. One more thing to try since my phone was uh, running low on battery power. The official Samsung charger didn't work when I tried it, but I did find this imitation of a Apple USB charger that my dad had. I got it hooked up, and I know that one works, so let's, uh, let me show it to you.
So I guess you could also charge a phone with it provided you have a uh, USB charger that will accept that type of power. Of course, you're going to be cranking along for a while. But anyway, that's uh, just about it.